it comes to dressing up, nobody does it better than Hollywood. So we're off to the Academy of Motion Pictures to see how the silver screen comes to life through costumes. Hollywood costume showcases the costume designer's contribution to cinematic storytelling. And here in the heart of Tinseltown, this new exhibit is showing off some of the industry's most famous attire. The dress from Titanic to Bill the Butcher's getup from Gangs of New York. Whoopsie daisy! To be able to see all of the costumes in person when I've watched these movies on TV, it's unbelievable. I came here because my wife wanted to come see it and I thought, ah, hey, you know, it's going to be all right, but I really enjoyed it. This is a once in a generation costume exhibition. And while you may not recognize her face, you will recognize Deborah's iconic work, like the Blues Brothers. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. And now Deborah's giving these classic costumes new life through technology. In so many of the exhibits, I was able to use innovative media to really deconstruct and unpack the creation of the costumes. When any indie fan comes to the exhibition, you look up on a screen and every single thing he's wearing, I explain the origin of every single piece of costume. The exhibition is incredibly emotional because of our attachment to the movies. From the moment you walk through the doors, you're reunited with Hollywood's heroes. Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. The Big Lebowski. I'm the dude. Even the Dark Lord himself. George Lucas has loaned from his personal collection this Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back. I am your father. He looks like everybody's Halloween costume, but this is the real deal. And sticking with the space theme, here is one of the original costumes for Avatars. Turns out that every single costume had to be designed and manufactured by the costume designers. So you can actually watch the film and compare it to this fabulous necklace that was hand beaded and knotted for the Navi people. Or if you're feeling a bit nostalgic, just head somewhere over the rainbow. I think my favorite piece about the exhibit was the ruby red slippers from The Wizard of Oz. The ruby slippers. There's no place like home. They pretty much have it all. It's worth coming to because it gives you a different perspective of what to look for in a movie. Everyone should come out and see this exhibit. It's a fabulous event and just well worth the visit. And that's some real movie magic. 